Hey guys, it's Erin, that crazy thespian, and I have another video for you. Today's video is what's inside my stage makeup train case. So I have this big old thing from walmart.com. I'm not sure how much it costs, but I will look at this up and link it down below. I don't know if they still carry this like specific kind of pleathery pattern on it. But I'm sure you can find the exact same style. And it is by the brand Caboodle from like the 90s. You know those little glittery jewelry box things that all of us had that fold out? Yeah, it's one of those. It's like a grown up version of those. So I really like this. Um, it's got a nice handle on it so I can carry it easily. And then it's got these which can lock and it comes with a little set of keys in it. So it's really nice. I usually take this to the theater dressing room and leave it in there throughout the run of the show and don't really take it home until the end of the show. So it's nice that I'm able to lock it and stuff for over like long weeks of time because you never know who will be in the theater or anything. So keeps it nice and safe and it's so big and can hold everything you could ever need for the stage and for touch-ups. And you can even probably squeeze in some of your hair stuff in here depending on how much makeup you have in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through the contents now and show you everything that I like and all my favorite products for stage. So here we go. This is all closed up and I promise you I'm wearing shorts. You can't really see them, but I'm wearing them. I promise. So you just unlatch it like so. I'm gonna open it up. I'm just gonna readjust this. Okay, make sure you guys can see it. My computer's at the most awkward angle right now. And then yeah, and then it just kind of like accordions out like so, and you just get all of this storage, which is super nice, and I like to keep my spot at the dressing room mirror like pretty tidy, so it's really nice to just be able to have this and just close it up during the show and just like hide the mess, because I like to try to keep things as tidy as possible. So yeah, I'm going to go through everything. So first I'll start out with this top layer. In this section, I have a lot of things that I use to start up my makeup. So I start out by applying a clear lip balm. This one's just from the drugstore. Um, you can use like medicated, non-medicated, just something that will create a barrier and help protect your lips. And then a face moisturizer. This one is a moisturizer and sunscreen by Kula. And you can get little travel size things from either Sephora, Ulta, subscription services. I put a lot of my subscription service products that I don't use on a regular basis in good use by putting them in this kit. So it's really nice to have some extra makeup to throw in here and keep in here at all times so that I don't have to like pack this up every time I have to do a show. So it's just nice to have everything in here and I can just store it in my room and then when I'm in a show and it's tech week, I can just take it with me. So that's always awesome. And then also before I start my makeup, I like to do a quick couple spritz of MAC Fix Plus. This is a little travel size. This runs about $10 for the little one. I really like this. Um, this primes your face even before the primer. So it's really wonderful and I love it so much. After that, I go to my primer. This is my favorite primer from the drugstore. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I've used Tyran products and this one honestly is just the best for your buck. So I prefer using this one over any high-end ones. And then I will start off with the concealer. This is like an industrial concealer. This is Glamouflage by Hard Candy. You can find this at Walmart. And this concealer pretty much covers every single thing you want to. Like, you could even probably use this as a foundation. I mean, I use this pretty much as a foundation on a regular basis. And it just, it works wonders. And it will cover any blemish, um, under eyes. Perfect. I really suggest picking this up. And then over here, I have my foundation. I like to use this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, which is almost gone. It's kind of like the product. You can see it usually, but once you pump it, it goes up and up. So it's literally almost gone. I have to get a new one. But I like this because of the wear that it gives to my makeup, and it covers everything. So it just makes your face a mask of just pure, like, one tone. So that's really nice. And then for more of a color and dimensions foundation. I like this for um, Makeup Forever 
HD primer. This is really good and this is like for photography. So this works really nice under the stage lights so you don't get so shiny. So this is very wonderful. And then if you didn't think I had enough face makeup on, like I go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And this is pretty light, so I do a quick little highlight with this. I go under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and just on the natural highlight places. So I really like this. And then I blend that all in with my Beauty Blender. This is my very, very old Beauty Blender. When I kind of retired it from my makeup collection, I threw it in here. Because, um, I mean, it's still usable. It's kind of gross and dirty, but I have to clean it but it gets the job done, so that's all that matters, right? And then after that, I like to top off with some powder. I just put a new one in here. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's in translucent, so you can put it over any makeup and it's not gonna change the color of the makeup on your face. So I really like this a lot, and this is what I use on an everyday basis. And then I have another one that I plop in here. And usually what I use for that, I have a couple brushes, but the one that I mainly use for that is this, and I use this Kabuki brush for blending. This is from e.l.f. It's only like $6. Really love it. Use it for blending, putting on found powder foundation. It just works wonders. And this I kind of have easy access to is because this is what I usually need to touch up during a show. So if I'm in between scenes and like I am starting to look a little oily, I run and grab these two products and then put some on and... We're good. Alright, so I have a couple brushes in here. I keep them in this case to kind of avoid shedding. And I have some face brushes here, some eye brushes, blending brushes. This one, um, this one right here I use for my eyebrows. And then this one I use for contouring. So these brushes are all drugstore um, or ones that I've gotten in subscription services. These ones with these handles are real techniques and pretty much the rest of them are e.l.f. So very nice, very affordable brushes that I like to keep in here. Next, I love this headband because it's very thick and it's really good if your hair is in a wig, wig cap and pin curls because it will keep the makeup from getting in your hairline and all that stuff. You can pick one of these up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I really recommend like this kind of headband because it will avoid getting makeup all up in your hair because you're wearing so much. So I always have one of these on hand. And then some eye makeup remover, and I usually have makeup remover wipes, but I need to refill on those. And this is really nice if I make like a mistake. I can just go in with a Q-tip or something real quick and fix it, or if my makeup smudges during the performance and I only have a few minutes to fix that up before I have to go back on, I can use this. This has been a lifesaver. And then last two things that I keep down here are my eyeshadow palettes. I mostly use the Urban Decay makeup palette for most of my shows because I usually just have to do a neutral eye. This one just has a bunch of neutral colors and this brown one right here is what I use to fill in my eyebrows on most occasions. And this one just works very well and I use it pretty much every show unless I have to do a little bit of color for my eyes and in that case I will pull out this bad boy. So in this you have some browns and neutrals, and then you have some colors, and then you can flip it out again, and you got some more colors. So this just gives you a little more of a selection for eyeshadow, which I really appreciate. This is my favorite mascara for theater. Um, I suggest getting the waterproof formula, but I don't usually have a problem with um, having these waterproof, but a lot of people do, so I recommend doing that. But this is the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. And I love this. It gives you the look of false eyelashes. Like, it makes your lashes so, 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 so big. So I really like this, especially if I'm in a show where the director says, like, eh, don't really wear false lashes. I pop this out because it makes me look like I have a lot fuller lashes than I do, especially from far away. And then this is just a little cheap eyelash curler that I got in an Ipsy bag, and I just threw it in here. I don't have any specific eyelashes in here. I need to get those, but I like um, Ardell, I think they're Ardell 420 Dramatic Lashes. That's mostly what I use for the theater. And I apply them with this and some Kiss Duo Lash Glue. And this, you literally put the lash in there, and then 
you just pull it up to your eye and stick it in there and it kind of holds it in place and it like follows the arch of your eye so I really really like this for applying them I've kind of become like a pro at putting them on now so I don't really need it but in case I do or I'm just having a bad day I always get that on hand. Alright, this is my favorite gel liner. It's by MAC. It's the MAC Fluid line. And you can tell because, oh, it's almost gone. I have a white eyeliner. Um, I use a white eyeliner to tight line down here sometimes. If I want a brighter eye look, if I'm playing a younger, youthful character, I will most likely use this on the lower lash line instead of a black. And then I have this is what I actually have on today with these wings that are pretty ridiculous. It's this e.l.f. $1 liquid liner. I have an eyebrow pencil in this dark brown. Um, sometimes if I have a wig that's dark brown or something, this will usually match it better. Or even if it's blonde, I like go really lightly on the eyebrow. And it works for pretty much every other hair color that my hair is besides this but that one I use the eyeshadow for, so I just keep that on hand in case I have a wig. And then I have some clear mascara, and it's all gross and dirty and doesn't look too clear, but this is from CoverGirl. And this is basically like hairspray for your eyebrows. You just put it in after you tint them with your product, and it will keep your brows in shape and in place, and it will help keep the color in. Then in this little pouch, I have some glitter. Sometimes if I'm in like a show or I'm playing like a showgirl or something, I like to put this on my eyes or you can put it on your cheeks as a highlighter, but it, it just comes with this little sponge at the end and you can pop some in there or like on your cheeks and then just blend it out. I really like this for a little extra sparkle and shine if the show calls for it. Or I go for this one, which is very, very super pigmented. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and it's the champagne colored highlight. It's crazy pigmented. I use it as an eyeshadow and a highlight. So this is a wonderful product that I really recommend. And then I have another eyebrow kit by e.l.f. This is if my hair is on the dark side usually. It's pretty much gone, but it's some wax that I just kind of like scrape out in case I need it or in case someone in that cast needs it or something. So it's there and then next I have this little palette that I got on sale from Sephora a really 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 long time ago and I mostly use this for the blush and highlight because the bronzer is quite orangey but this blush is super pretty pretty pigmented and then this is like it looks white but it's like pretty clear and that I usually just pop over the cheeks if it's a slight highlight this I actually really love this blush a lot I got it in an ipsy bag and it's just this light pale pink that I really like, especially when I'm playing a more youthful character. It's kind of like a childish color, but I really, really like it. And then this is by NARS. And this is a little sample I got um, and a 500 point perk. And it's just this little blush. And then I got this one in an Ipsy bag. This is a really super crazy pigmented. This works better when I'm more hand because as you can tell I'm like the palest thing alive so when I'm tanner this looks better on my skin this is a really light kind of neutrally one and this is candid coral by elf this is only three dollars and then this is what I use to contour with sometimes I'll just do a slight bronze sometimes I'll do more contouring again it all depends on the age of the character that I'm playing but this is it. It's Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I really love this. And it smells like chocolate, so that's a bonus. Okay, and now we are at the last little pocket of my thing. This is mostly lip stuff. The only non-lip thing is this color tattoo by Maybelline. And then this is like um, a lip and cheek thing. This is just a stain. Sometimes if I need more dramatic cheeks I will use this and then it also works on the lips too and I got that in an empty bag a while back and then what I like to do for lips is I like to have a red option a pink option and a neutral option so for my red option I start out with this NARS pencil that I got in my birthday gift this year and this is kind of more like a lip liner because it's matte um, so I also like to keep a matte and shimmer option as well 
but this is what I would put on. Ooh. And then I would put this over that and then touch up with this throughout the show. And then for neutrals, I have this City Colors Be Matte lipstick that I, ab I absolutely love this lipstick. I got it in an Etsy bag. Um, I actually sometimes take this one out to wear every day because I love this one. Ooh. And then this is another one I really love. This is like really old from Revlon and it's almost gone, but it's like more of a pinky nude and that one's more of like a brown nude. And then my pink option. This is like a dark pink lip and this is a Revlon lip butter in, I think it's raspberry pie. Yeah, raspberry pie. And then this lip gloss that I got in an Ipsy. And then I can close it up like so. And yeah, there you have it. That's what is inside of my Caboodle train case. I really love this thing. I would certainly recommend this if you are going to do more theater for a long time because it is kind of a lifesaver. If you would like to see me do kind of a get ready with me or a stage makeup tutorial on what I do for like a normal show, be sure to comment down below, like this video, and tell me what you would like to see. I have more videos on the way, so thank you so much for watching. Stay crazy, my thespians. Bye.